So where did Tony Blair come in a poll of Britain's favourite Prime Ministers? He came third. In a, in a poll by the uh, Daily Politics show a couple of years ago, Tony Blair was voted our third most favouritist PM ever. Coming in second place uh, was post-war leader Clement Attlee. And first... Thatcher. He wasn't in the list, Churchill. I don't understand. No, it was Maggie. Thatcher, yeah. Uh, so we're in the final part of this morning's show. Armando, Yasmin, Terry and you lot are going to tell us if you still pine for Labour's most successful PM ever. 0207 173 is the number to dial, of course. Uh, nearly two years now since he quit Downing Street after a decade at the top, sweeping to power on that wave of optimism, cool Britannia and all that total nonsense. Uh, he introduced the minimum wage, civil partnerships, helped bring peace to Northern Ireland, gave Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland their own parliaments and assemblies, and he spoke for the country when Diana died, stood shoulder to shoulder with America after September the 11th. And again, he was also to blame for introducing tuition fees. He started the nonsense that is now known as ID cards and brought in a lot of legislation that has eroded our civil liberties bit by bit. He was called George Bush's poodle. He led us into an illegal invasion of Iraq on the spurious hunt for seemingly invisible weapons of mass destruction, a decision that cost the lives of 179 British troops and over 90,000 Iraqi civilians, a decision that's made us a prime target for terrorist attack. But... Think about the man for a second, and you realise that tone had something, a certain je ne sais quoi, that, that poor old recession hit Gordon just... Well, he just doesn't have. <laughs> so, I mean, Blair's only been a Catholic for five minutes, and he's already lecturing the Pope, God's representative on Earth, on how the church should deal with gay people and, and condoms. He's also become the highest-paid public speaker in the world, earning £6,000 a minute for two speeches in the Far East last month. What a guy. <laughs> Did you miss him, Armando? <laughs> uh, I feel physically sick now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether it's the hot cross bun or just that coat of the life of Tony Blair. No, I don't miss him for a second. Can you imagine what he'd be like uh, at that G20 summit last, last week? Just uh, He couldn't have looked any smugger than Gordon, could he? Oh, he, oh, he could. Could he? Oh, he could. Just the, the, he's fawning all over Obama and, and acting as king of the world. And the fact that he has become a Catholic and, and, and has then misunderstood the whole... The whole notion of what <laughs> religious faith is, which is that you're meant to accept these fundamental principles that have been given to you from on high, rather than uh, a set of beliefs that you can then tinker with. And, and, and he, he wants to reform God. Yes, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. That's what he wants to do. That's his next what big about, challenge. What about, what about as, a, as a comedic inspiration? Do you get more value, or did you get more value out of Tone than you do out of Brown and his gang? Well, it was a different sort of value, I suppose. I mean, when it was Tony Blair, it was, the government was all him, really. Yes. So, so, so that his character became the sort of personality of the government. With Gordon Brown, it's different. I mean, he has a much more low-key approach. And therefore, the comedy arises out of what his ministers are up to, hence the kind of the whole expenses claims yeah. and, and, and all that sort of thing. So it's a different thing. But, uh, but frankly, I don't really care whether, as a comedian, uh, the prime minister is one that gives you lots of opportunity for jokes. You know, I actually want someone who doesn't who isn't so besotted with his own self-belief in his, in his merits that, that he's prepared to change anything and have any course of action on the table. Do, do you without, think, he was, a, do you think he was a good leader? I mean, people talk... I mean, Maggie Thatcher, I, everything she stood for, yeah. I, I truly loathe. But yeah. I have to acknowledge she could lead. Yeah, but, but then where, where, do you, where do you go with that argument? You know, it's... Uh, Hitler was a good leader. Hitler was yeah, a great yeah. leader. Yeah. You know, Stalin. You know, I disagree with some of the things he said. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, he, he more or less got them done. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we need, you know, isn't it? Or am I talking out of hand here? <laughs> um, you know, that's, that's, that's really... And it's not about... Yes, a leader is very good because they make decisions. Yeah. But the, the, the more I've sort of investigated the whole political process and, and the pressures we put politicians under the more you know that they're making decisions because uh, they have to and they haven't got time to think them through. You know, the whole 24-hour news cycle and the yeah. reporters... The Daily Mail comes out every day. you've got to say, ID cards, and then <laughs> sack him, and yeah. then I resign. And, and, you know, <laughs> and normally in that order. <laughs> before you've left the house, well, Another you know. favourite one is assistant heads must roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terry, I would do, resign, do you, but uh, I feel I've got to stay in my place and, and see this through. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's the honourable thing it's to do. Sort of yeah. um, do you miss him, Terry? Um, well, do we miss Tony Blair? No, we don't. And no, I certainly don't, unless uh, unless you're of the opinion that, you know, a cheesy soundbite delivered in a hammy style would uh, get us out of our current, you know, particular situation. Uh, I don't understand what it is about Blair. I got asked to get on board with New Labour 
And I, I suppose it's at the time when I was doing the word, they must have thought it was a trendy show. Right? <laughs> and I just laughed at him. I, I thought, listen, you know, Tony Blair will make Jim Callaghan look like, you know, Trotsky. Basically, because I just I just thought of him as a Tory, and if you look at it, you know tuition fees. Right, hang on. When you say when, when he it. when he swept to power in ninety seven, the country was full of yeah. hope. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were hope. full of hope. I, I mean, I prefer Gordon Brown. You know, I'd, I mean, I'd actually say, you know, if uh, if you want some lightweight ex public school vote, you know, spouting vacuous vapid comments, then you've always got David call me Dave Cameron. You can always vote for him, can't you? Uh, it's just not my cup of tea as a politician, Tony Blair. Okay. Never, ever was. Um, and I prefer Gordon. OK. For okay. all his dourness. What, what about you, Yasmin? I danced. Did you, you had the I danced, optimism. I danced um, the day they won. Mm -hmm. Literally, in Covent Garden, I danced. Um, he launched one of my books in 1999. <laughs> and Space. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> More or less, I <laughs> So I, I, I wasn't as wise. <laughs> I wasn't as wise as Terry. I thought he would be good, and I admired him. I admired Cherie, and it quickly fell apart. It really did, because they really were in it for themselves in a way that I don't think I've ever seen a, a British politician behave. You know, you never felt, even with that, you're my loan uh, to this day that she was in it for herself. Oh, you did, when she wouldn't have sanctions on South Africa. No, no, Dennis for herself, no. In she was Tinto's in it for the Inc. rich. She was in it for her class, but she never felt she was in it for herself. Hang and on, she, was, she, was, she wasn't the elected member here. You know, we're talk, talking about Tony Blair. I mean, you know, I think it's, it would be wrong to start dumping the sins of his wife or, or on <laughs> him. I mean... No, 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 but together, very quickly, <laughs> it became <laughs> their houses, their lives. And she was a very, very active. But do you not feel? I mean, again, you're, you're still talking about her. I mean, do, do yeah. you? And her dad was very good until dad. But do, do you part. not feel though that, that <laughs> had it not been for the war, had it not been for that foolish mistake of taking the American side rather than the, the European mm. side, which, which she'd been a, an advocate of, that we may look at him very differently? Is it not the war, the I war think, alone that, yes, that made the war views was go? his biggest crime, and for which he should be tried? Tony Blair needs to be tried for this war, um, and he never will be, which is terrible. But he, yeah, he did fantastic stuff with um, the Human Rights Act, yeah. which I passionately believe in, uh, uh, the Freedom of Information Act, and, of course, with the uh, uh, Good Friday Agreement. And he won three terms. But, he won but three then terms. he went against his own good principles. Okay. Listen, tight time, we're down to just a few seconds. I've got to hear from you guys. Do you miss him, Amy? All right, let's go to Scott, then on line one. Scott, do you blame him? Uh, do you miss him? Uh, not at all. I miss him like I had an extra hole in the head and I've actually got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you've got to think, I mean, like, Tony Blair, he was, um, he didn't listen to other people. He had his own agenda and he stuck to it and that's what made him a bad politician. Okay. Gordon Brown, okay. let's face it, he was his chancellor for how many years? Nine, ten years or something? Scott. So he was pulling the purse strings for him, making him look good. Well, Scott, Scott, Scott. I, I can't believe everyone is so cynical. Damn you all, I say. Damn you all. <laughs> and that's your lot for today, I'm afraid. A huge thank you to Armando here. Real treat Thanks having you with us well, as well. In the loop. Thank you. In the loop. Cinemas from next Friday, the 17th of April. Go and see it if you can. Jasmine and Terry, thank you for a fun, fun week. Bless you. Give it up for the panel. One last time. We're off. We're off all next week for Easter. See you on Monday, April the 20th. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>